let's take a look at vivid light, linear light, and pin light. Now a heads up about these three, vivid light and linear light are two of the eight special blending modes which will be affected differently by fill opacity than by standard opacity. And again those eight are multiply, color burn, linear burn, color dodge, linear dodge add, vivid light, linear light, hard mix, and difference. So we're hitting on two of them. Pin light is not affected differently, so opacity or fill opacity will both behave in the same way. Now, the other thing about all three of them is that you can get clipping, so watch out on that. So bear that in mind, uh, because linear light and vivid light can have the fill opacity adjusted, you can often avoid clipping in that pin light. If you're getting clipping, you're probably going to be getting clipping. Another thing about these is that they're combinations of other lightening and darkening effects working together. For example, vivid light is like color burn and color dodge, which are two of the uh, light blending modes that are affected differently by fill opacity. Linear light is like linear burn and linear dodge working together. Those are also two that are affected differently by fill opacity. Hence why vi vivid light and linear light are affected differently by fill opacity because their components are. Pin light is a combination of darken and lighten. And so if you'll recall from darken and if you'll recall from lighten, it will take the pixels based on uh, the channel by channel basis. And then whichever one is, uh, well, in the case of light, lighten, lighter is shown. In the case of darken, whichever is darker is shown. So in the case of uh, pin light, what it's going to do is take that 50% gray, knock that out. Then if it's lighter than 50% gray, it's going to affect it and go, hey, I'm going to use lighten. And if it's darker than 50% gray, it's going to go, hey, I'm going to affect it with darken. So let me show you what pin lights formula looks like. Ta-da! If you've had any programming classes, this will look familiar. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Max just means you hand in two values. In this case, two times the active layer pixel minus 100%. Uh, so if you end up flying past 100%, no worries. That will be dampened down. And then you'll compare it to the background, uh, la the background layer or the composite background layer pixel. Whichever of these two is bigger will be returned. Now in the case of min, so if it's below 128 on our luminance, in the case of min, two times the active layer's pixel will be compared to the background layer. Whichever one's smaller, frequently this will be, you know, the background layer, will be returned. Uh, now that's not to say it's always the background layer, it depends on the image you're working with. If you have a very, very light image, then as the background layer, then that will be the case. But two times gets big pretty quick. Essentially, if you've worked your way up to 50%, uh, boom, it's going to fly over. Uh, so watch out for that. Um, let's take a look at what that's doing. We'll do this in a couple of different ways. Let's take this and pop it over to pin light. I think that's pretty cool. I tend to prefer this over lighten or darken. So here is lighten. Here is darken. Here is pin light. You can see that it combines them together nicely. I think that this works well for a lot of different effects. Unfortunately, it's not one of the fill opacities, uh, fill, one of the fill opacities. Unfortunately, it's not one of the blending modes that's affected by the fill opacity. Uh, it's only affected by opacity opacity. So you'll get the same effect from opacity as you would from fill opacity on it. So no, no major difference on that, kind of a bummer. That said, it's uh, pretty interesting, and you can, of course, apply it as a dummy layer. Let me go ahead and get yet another brightness contrast. And I'm going to set it now to pin light. And you can see that there is essentially no effect, which is to be expected, because if we look again at the formula, A equals B in this case, because it's uh, with the dummy layer, it's the same thing as duplicating a standard layer. And then on that top layer, setting it to blending mode. We showed that earlier. So let's say you have A of 150. That means that B is now 150. So this is above the middle gray. So oh, I get that other. This is above the middle gray. So we'll have two times 150. This will immediately become 300. And then you're going to subtract out 
255 because 100% of 255 is 255, which uh, leaves us with just 45. Now keep in mind, you always have to be uh, greater than, get my brush, you always have to be greater than 128 for this one to be affected and you have to be less than 128 on the luminance values for this to be affected. And again, if you don't get this, don't worry about it. Just think about flowers or butterflies or any pretty thing. It's fine. I'm just going to talk about the math for just a minute because it could be important to some of you, but probably not right now, probably not for this class. I do want to cover it. So A equals B. This is 150. Now what's larger, 45 or 150? A boom. It's going to be B. Now, what if this is all the way up at 255, the maximum amount? It's twice that, but then it's minus half, it's minus 255 again. So it's going to be 255. And B would be 255. So it doesn't even matter up to there. So at the lowest level and at the highest level, uh, if we did 129, we would have had the same effect. At the lowest level and the highest level, you end up with B. Uh, being returned and B was the unaltered one in this case now for minimum if you're looking for something smaller if you have any number times two and that same number not times two the smaller one's going to be the original number so you always end up with B so there you have it it's not going to affect a duplicate of its own layer it's just going to be itself so that in a nutshell is pin light which is kind of interesting uh, again, I think it works beautifully with uh, many, many blending modes between layers, uh, often better than lighten or darken, uh, but by itself it's not going to have any effect. Now, that's not to say that uh, the other modes that we've been covering wouldn't. Soft light versus hard light uh, obviously will have an effect, and vivid and linear light will both have effects as well. We'll cover those in just a moment. So really just uh, pin light isn't going to affect anything. Same manner, lighten and darken would not affect anything because how, how could it? It can't. It's the same image. Okay, well, that's about 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, it's about 7 minutes. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to another video so that I can break this down, and we'll do a hard light. I'm sorry, we'll do vivid light and linear light next. See you in a minute.